start off with observations. Uh, do you guys remember the, uh, the, the density of water? Is the density of water fixed at 1.0 grams per milliliter? Or does the density of water change with temperature? The change with temperature. And do you remember what that graph looks like for the uh, density of water? And so let's take a look at uh, this really quick. And this is a scientific method here. And if we go to density of water. We use a table like this. Not exactly the same table, but a table similar to this. And then we see that the density varies with the temperature like that. But when you look at it, do you see the pattern of the variation? Is it hard? It's kind of hard to see. Is there a pattern to that variation? You know, that is, is it a uh, straight line pattern or linear or nonlinear? relationship. And so we'll often do um, a plot just to see that a little bit better relationship here. And so when we plot out the relationship, this is what it looks like from 0 to 11 degrees. The density of water increases, uh, maxes out around 4, and then drops back down. And we can plot this over a wider temperature range here. Let's see. Wider temperature range for this. Let's see why. Okay, so this is uh, quite a wide temperature range. Water from zero to a hundred. This one should be ice. But we can plot this density. Yeah. It turns out there is a mathematical relationship. You know what that mathematical relationship looks like for this? So let's take a look. to relate the density of liquid water to Celsius temperature in the range from 0 to about 20 degrees C. So from about 0 degrees C to 20 degrees C, the curve there fits this mathematical pattern. And so where did this equation come from? Did this equation come from theory? Did this equation come from theory? Did it, did it come from hypothesis? Somebody hypothesized this equation? This equation is what we call a theoretical equation. What do we call this type of equation? Empirical equation. This is an example of an empirical equation. This equation just fits the data. And so once we have this, then we don't need the table anymore. The table is a bit of a pain to read, right? Mathematical equation is a lot easier because let's say we have this. To four significant figures, determine the density of water at 10 degrees C. Well, that's easy. You have the temperature 10 degrees C, we just plug it in. 10 degrees, 10 degrees, 10 degrees, and then calculate the answer. You don't have to look it up. And so we could have any temperature we want, we just plug it in there, as long as it's within this range, and then we can calculate the density. And so, uh, oftentimes we call these Equations, these empirical equations, what? What do we call them? Laws. Laws. And so when we do this, oops, 